Hey there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci. Now, solar eclipses have been around since the dawn of time, pretty much, as long as humans have walked the planet. We've been around for about six million years, and you can imagine, long before we understood science and what made an eclipse, there were a lot of folks who didn't quite get it. So eclipses played a role in history, culture, and even mythology. Nowadays, modern modeling allows us to backdate pretty much every solar eclipse that has ever happened. But until the advent of astronomy and mathematics, ancient civilizations often had no idea what a solar eclipse was and when it was going to happen until suddenly one just did. Perhaps the first record of a solar eclipse being documented was found in a stone carving in Ireland. It appeared to be a burial structure dating back to about 3300 BC, more than 5000 years ago. Solar eclipses are useful because they help astronomers to date things. For example, there was a solar eclipse on June 15, 763 BC, which was mentioned in an Assyrian text. That helped historians sift out the timeline of the ancient Near East. Around 1200 BC, astronomers in Anyang, China recorded solar eclipses on so-called, quote, oracle bones, aka oxen shoulder blades and tortoise shells. NASA scientists actually used these eclipse readings to match them with historical eclipses. In order for these certain eclipses to have been seen in Anyang, Earth's rotation would have had to have slowed over the past 3,200 years. By how much? About 47 thousandths of a second per day in the past three millennia. Prior to that, some 4,000 years ago, the Chinese king Zhang Kang supposedly beheaded two astronomers who failed to accurately predict an eclipse. Obviously, there's a lot of lore surrounding eclipses, which were sometimes considered warnings or omens from the gods. The ancient Greek historian Herodotus wrote about an eclipse predicted by the philosopher Thales of Miletus. It happened during a battle between the Medes and the Lydians. When the eclipse happened, it spooked both sides into putting down their weapons and declaring peace. More recently, on January 22, 1879, 1,700 British soldiers and more than 1,000 Zulu soldiers were killed during the Zulu War in South Africa. But at 2.29 p.m. on the day of the war, there was a total solar eclipse. The Zulus took that as a divine promise of victory. In Chaco Canyon in New Mexico, there's a petroglyph, or a Pueblo rock carving, that's believed to be of an eclipse that happened there on July 11, 1097. You can see protruding eruptions and loops, which may be coronal mass ejections or bursts of solar material and magnetism shooting into space from the sun. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. And click on that notification bell. That way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. Nowadays, we can anticipate eclipses tens of thousands of years in advance. After this one, the next total solar eclipse is in Greenland, Iceland, Portugal, and Spain in 2026. I'll of course be there. But some bad news. In the very, very, very distant future, solar eclipses may be no more. That's because the moon is moving away from the Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimeters per year. So, not that much. But in about a billion years, the moon will be too far away to block the sun. That means no more total solar eclipses. Now, fortunately, if all goes well, I should have like two or three dozen more total solar eclipses in my lifetime, so I hope to see them. You know, my parents never have, and they're flying down to San Antonio to watch this upcoming one with me. I'll be in the live stream here from my radar, joined by Erica and Joseph. Check it out. We start about an hour before totality. We'll see you then, and hopefully, weather permitting, we'll all get to see the total solar eclipse together. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.